Hey, Rusty here, and welcome to the Game Creation Using Your Phone series. Today you will be adding background, music, and UI to your game. Alright, let's start by adding the background. Click on background at the very top, click on the I, and then the plus button. From the media library, you can choose or any background that you'd like it to be, or you can make your own. Adding background music takes a few more steps, so go ahead and click on the sound button at the top, the plus button. Let's go to media library, and I'm going to add a, a music loop from in here. Once downloaded, go to the scripts tab, and in here we're going to add an event when scene starts. Then we're going to add the control forever loop underneath this. In this forever loop, we want to add a sound for start, sound, and wait. And this is going to cause a loop that plays the music, then it plays it again, and plays it again. Now we're going to change the volume and raise it up just a little bit so you can hear it better in the game. We want to move this actually outside of the loop so that it doesn't call it, it only needs to be called once. Now let's add some basic user interface. Click the back arrow and let's create a new game object here. We're going to actually draw something here. We're going to click on tools and then text. And we're going to type in this text high score and score and we're going to position this at the very top of the screen so that in our next tutorial we can add the scores under here they can change as you play the game. Click the check to place the text in the back arrow to exit out of here. Now you're going to have to click on the screen and drag down until you start seeing the text to place it. There you go and our game starting to flesh out. In the next tutorial we're going to start adding some values and variables uh, to our game to keep track of the score.